It's been another roller coaster of a week for cryptocurrency Bitcoin. On Friday, Japanese exchange Mt. Gox filed for bankruptcy protection, claiming 850,000 Bitcoins worth $500 million had been stolen from its servers. Chief Executive Mark Capelez, who had remained quiet for weeks despite a protest taking place on his company's doorstep, spoke briefly in court to try and reassure the thousands of Mt. Gox customers worried that they'll never see their Bitcoins again. So, we had a problem with the system that caused a loss to our uh, because to our customers. And we uh, have identified the problem we are working on this. Although Mt. Gox claims to be working on a solution, most customers doubt they'll get their Bitcoins back due to the anonymity of virtual currency transactions. But there was some good news for British Bitcoin users this week, as HM Revenue and Customs plans to tax Bitcoin trading have been scrapped. To better understand the problems of Bitcoin and also what HMRC's plans mean for British users, we spoke to Tom Robinson, who is the director of the UK Digital Currency Association. I think Mt. Gox is, is just part of the evolution of the Bitcoin ecosystem. Um, I think we should certainly learn from what's happened, um, but I don't think it's a, a long-term issue for mainstream adoption of Bitcoin. Um, so certainly I think the big lesson that, that needs to be learned is that Bitcoin companies need to be more transparent if they're going to hold Bitcoin on behalf of their customers. A, a high street bank being robbed has as much to say about Sterling as Mt. Gox being robbed has to say about Bitcoin. You know, this was a failure of Mt. Gox as a company, it wasn't a failure of Bitcoin itself. What we understand is that um, sales of cryptocurrencies will be exempt from VAT and also the commission charged by exchanges um, will be exempt. So it's very similar to how any other currency would be taxed. Um, capital gains, income tax, corporation tax would be liable on the Bitcoin transactions as it would be on transactions involving any other currency. I think the HMRC um, regulations, uh, first and foremost, bring a huge amount of much needed legitimacy to digital currencies in the UK. This is the first um, official ruling by any uh, regulator or government body about digital assets. And I think it gives much needed clarity to Bitcoin businesses. Um, previous to now, it simply wasn't clear how Bitcoin transactions were taxed. And this uncertainty was leading to many Bitcoin businesses thinking about moving offshore where, it, where the situation was more clear. I think it's going to lead to a gold rush of digital currency businesses to the UK, just because I think this is the, the most clear, aggressive, forward-thinking uh, tax treatment that we've seen anywhere. Those Early Bitcoin businesses are falling away and regulators and tax authorities are taking notice and beginning to offer guidance. Despite the problems at Mt. Gox, Bitcoin's value has already recovered. And once other countries start to follow Britain's lead on how to tax Bitcoin companies, a future where we see Bitcoin organisations that are trustworthy, reliable and secure could well become a reality. For all the latest news on Bitcoin and the rest of the technology industry, please visit ibtimes.co.uk forward slash technology.